Hey, good Friday, March 31st. Tomorrow's April Fool's Day, so be aware. <laughs> you got some crazy people out there that are always trying to pull those April Fool's jokes on you. Jason and I just finished a workout before heading back. I think he's doing cardio. Um, and I wanted to give a quick shout out to book in the week like I've been talking about. And um, you know, starting the week off good on a Monday and finishing it strong on a Friday and going to the weekend, be able to enjoy it and have fun and relax. So a couple of things. One, you know, I, I have this tattoo, you know, it's of Superman. Um, I've been getting some inquiries as to why Superman, what, what's going on with Superman. Well, you know, when after a workout and you're feeling pumped and I just finished the workout, I feel pretty strong, feel pretty good. Um, what, uh, what I decided to do a while back was, uh, because like you, I often procrastinate on things and I, you know, I kind of put things off. I have learned to not do that anymore. Just get up and tackle the day's events. You've heard me talk about in the past, getting up and making your bed, you know, putting on your clothes, take your shower, shave, put on your makeup, brush your teeth, you know, uh, close that bedroom door and when you leave, don't go back, all right? You don't hit the bedroom again till you go to bed at night. It's too easy to go in there and lay down and just be lazy and just procrastinate. So move on and get the day's tasks accomplished. First thing is making the bed, showering, getting dressed, getting that done all the way, go down, get a good breakfast in, or take a protein shake, whatever it is you do, get your coffee in. <laughs> For me, uh, I wanted to have something to hold me accountable, something visual that I could see, and that's where this came into play, right? So I decided that if I was gonna have a Superman tattoo, wherever it is, it's gotta be visible. And I like wearing tank tops when I'm in California. I, you know, I'm in shorts and tank tops most of the time when I work out. I like loose clothing. I don't like a lot of baggy clothes holding me down. Um, so this thing's gonna be seen, and it's an accountability piece. Uh, it's not that I have superhuman strength, I think I'm Superman, but I feel like if I wear it and I'm in good shape, and I feel I'm in pretty good shape right now, then that motivates me. If I don't want to go to the gym, all I got to do is turn sideways and go, oh, I better get my butt in there if I'm going to uphold the, the status symbol there, right? So that's all that is. And uh, I don't know, maybe I should have got a little smaller and less... I don't know, anyways, it's, it's all good. That's, that's the reason for the tattoo. But what I wanna to talk to you today about real quick is just, you know, the pain and suffering, right? So, you know, I know a lot of you guys are going out there and when you uh, tackle your day's objectives and things like that, certain stuff shows up and gets in the way. Or you just can't seem to turn off the switch when you step in between the lines, whether it's on the athletic field, in the classroom, at work, in the gym, with the kids, with the wife, you know, focused in a meeting, whatever it might be, you just can't turn off that external noise because you got a lot of internal demons going on. Every day, every minute of the day, there's a battle going on for the control of your mind. Let me repeat that. Every day, every minute, there's a battle going on for the control of your mind. And um, what you gotta do is you gotta block out the noise and you gotta stay focused on the positive stuff, right? And that's not always easy. Um, but what I want you to do is recognize that and welcome when pain and suffering comes to, to, your, to your forefront, to your attention. Welcome the fact that you have problems. A mentor of mine told me once, problems are good things to have, all right? They're meant to be solved. And if you can solve problems, the bigger the problem you can solve, the better you'll be able to serve other people and be a blessing to other people, even to yourself and your family. Solving problems generally leads to making money. The bigger the problems you solve, the more money you can make the better the blessing you can be to others. So my suggestion would be this, is recognize that through pain and suffering and challenges and, and the problems we face, um, there's a lesson to be learned. And God will take you through those lessons and through those tough times if you're just trusting him. And when you doubt, you just gotta say four words, Jesus, I trust you, God, I trust you, Father, I trust you, whomever it is for you, for me, it's Jesus. And what that does is that releases all the problems to him and allows him to draw you closer to him and keep him the number one thing in your life. Because quite often, almost always, you can't solve problems without a higher power of authority. And if you think you were a mistake, that you were created just for the sake of floating around here until you die and you wither in the ground afterwards and that's it, I got news for you. You didn't choose to be born. It wasn't your decision to be born. It was somebody else's. Let me repeat that. You did not choose to be born. It wasn't a choice. You did not say, I'm going to be born. Nah, I'm going to pass. I'll wait till next month. It was set up for you. It was designed for you. And the decision was made for you. And you have a purpose. <laughs> but you cannot grow into that purpose and serve that purpose until you develop certain skills, um, strengths, and habits. And uh, you get those through trials and tribulations. So don't, don't be afraid of them. 
just welcome God into your life and just say, Jesus, I trust you. Can I hand this problem over to you and help me? Give me the wisdom to help solve it. Help me stay within the parameters of your, of your, your, your surroundings around me, keeping me focused on the objectives at hand. I'm giving you the control of my life. I'm giving you the control of my will, my thoughts, and my power. Control my steps. Direct me into the right path to take to solve this problem and to free me of this concern, and wonderful things will happen. As I said before, my mentor a long time ago said, problems are a good thing to have. If you don't have problems, he says, you know who doesn't have problems? Dead people don't have problems. I know that may be hard for some of you to hear, but they do. Hey, you can be six feet above ground, happy, solving problems, moving the needle, or as my, one of my bosses says, uh, moving the marble, right? And uh, advancing your agenda. Uh, or, you know, you could have the other, and the other isn't so pleasant. Unless you believe in our creator and a higher power of authority. For me, that's Jesus, and that's another day and another story. So anyways, Go into the weekend, rock it, be brave, be strong, and go get what's yours.